merit in this contention. Yes, two-third split may happen in the MLAs. That writing may be on the wall, but not in the party. Two points are, Gaurav. First, to tell you that, you know, a number of files are being cleared at double quick time in the last 24 hours. Clear indication that there are many in this government who believe this government is on its way out. And many of these files, I'm told, will eventually be on controversial issues that will be... Uh, if, uh, possibly uh, reverse when there is a new government, if there is one. But on your larger point, and I think that's a good question, because the legislature party appears to be heading inevitably for a split, will the Shiv Sena itself split <coughs> and will the Thakres lose control of the Sena? My sense is in Mumbai, the Thakres will continue to call the shots at least till the BMC elections, which are scheduled for October, November. If the Shiv Sena was to lose that, or the Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena was to lose that, and that, I believe, is the game of Devendra Fandavis. Not just to call, capture power in Mantrale, but also capture BMC, which over the last three decades has really been the heart, the citadel, the fortress, the cash cow, call it what it will, of the Shiv Sena. So, I think that question of whether the Thakres can control the Shiv Sena could well be answered, A, by the BMC election, and B, what we've got to recognize, and I think this is significant. In the last 15 years, the Shiv Sena has spread into rural Maharashtra. A number yes. of its MLAs come now from northern Maharashtra, from western Maharashtra. These were areas where traditionally the Shiv Sena was not a force. The Shiv Sena was a party of Mumbai Konkan. This new Sena... I don't think has the same affiliation or affection for the Thakres that perhaps a generation ago the earlier Sena had. Even Eknath Shinde will have an affection for Bala Sahib, but I can tell you there are MLAs in North Maharashtra and Western Maharashtra which will go wherever the wind blows. A number of them have even switched sides and got tickets from the Sena and are first-time MLAs. These first-time MLAs have no great affection for the Sena nor do their supporters. So I think we've got to recognize that there is a new changing Sena. Sanjay Jha is right that in Mumbai, for example, I do believe that the Thakre still have an emotional appeal. But outside the Mumbai Konkan belt, huge question mark. And once the BJP tries to capture the BMC, they are also trying to capture the larger Hindutva space. And that was the original plan, Gaurav of Pramod Mahajan, when he had tied up with the Sena. He In fact, that's that the point I was Mara coming Sahib. to. Did Uddhav Thakre actually compromise on the Hindutva agenda because he was pursuing the common minimum program and did he then end up shooting himself in the foot, sir? You know, that got up very quickly, this compromise of the Hindutva agenda also is a bit of a red herring because I think the Shiv Sena knew what they were getting into in November 2019. He went into this with his eyes open. They wanted the Bhagwa over Mantralai. They wanted control of Mantralai. Now, two and a half years later, the disaffected group are primarily those who want the loaves and fishes of office or are scared of the ED. Please understand, Eknath Shinde's son is a member of parliament. Eknath Shinde controls urban development, which is one of the most prized portfolios yes. in Mumbai. Eknath Shinde did not, his grievances have been exaggerated, Gaurav, at one level. The fact is, most of these MLAs have now skeletons in their cupboard, which the Fatnavis led BJP is exploiting. It's not as if this is suddenly a discovery of Hindutva. It is personal uh, uh, ambition and personal concerns which have led them to rediscover Hindutva, in my view. Hindutva was always going to be put on the uh, on the back burner once you tied up with the Congress NCP in November 29. You know what happened with the Palghar sadhus, the manner in which justice, as uh, some Shiv Sainik say and the BJP says, continues uh, to evade uh, the victims. The Palghar uh, Gaurav, I must, I am sorry, but Palghar sadhu sadly was unfortunately completely misinterpreted by the media. It was a crime. But it was not a Hindu-Muslim uh, issue. No, it, was it wasn't Hindu-Muslim. It wasn't Hindu-Muslim. But Hindu sadhus being lynched and justice no. not being done uh, with no, no, Uddhav Thakur being arrested. chief minister no, 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 was no, no, the, was the complaint. Gaurav, my friend, people were arrested in the Palgad case. You have to recognize that Uddhav Thakre, yes, you are right, tried to moderate the Shiv Sena away from the strident uh, Hindutva towards <laughs> a more moderate view without sort of resorting to bulldozer politics. Now, we okay. can debate that separately. There's, there were a section of the Sainiks who felt that That's this right. is not the core of the Sena. But my point is, this was something you were buying into 
when you decided okay. to do this uh, uh, deal in 20, November 2019, now two and a half years later, the likes of Eknath Shinde or Deepak Kesarkar are only waking up because their individual ambitions are being affected. No other reason.